check one, two, three, four. Sound check. Sound check. Good lord, man. I uh, just ran a cleanup on my Mac. I may have to start doing that in the middle of my stream. Just taking 30 seconds. It normally gives me about three hours. It was only about one and a half gigs of junk on there. The streaming just takes up so much shit. Hey, welcome back. Just in time. <laughs> All right. Where were we? Good Lord. Let's see. Bookmarks. History. Jacob Coat. We'll try this one more time. I think we may go music list to be on the safe side though. Sorry about that guys. Usually doesn't happen that early. Although it is telling me one thing, shorten your streams, Mort. <laughs> Till you get a capable computer. Alright. Almost home. Let's see if I can get a uh, Discord back up. The one nice thing about running that Mac is it'll shut the, or that Mac cleanup is it'll shut all the uh, browsers down just to make the cleanup and then it'll open them back up right where they were. So that's kind of nice rather than a full reboot. I should have done that this time. It would have been a lot faster. Get him back in channel. Hey. Oh, we got two Q Cubs. How the hell did I do that? Two. You there, Q? Yo. I'm the real. I'm the real one. Where is he? I see him moving, so I know he's there. Are you guys hearing him? Because I'm not. Hello. Coming out of his MacBook Pro. Maybe that was it. Check, check. Hello. Uh, am I muted? Huh. Wonder why I'm not. Whatever Extreme just happened, Internet, did I think. It? Oh, blue stacks. Yeah, of I course can hear I him. You See, that's what me. I'm talking about when I run too much shit. <laughs> so frustrating. Oh my god, me. GACD. I'll let him run the show until I can figure out. Well, my GAC, so I won my first three. So now I'm paired against probably people that are like around. I think most of the people that are in this have won their three. That would make sense. Oh my god, it's got a JKR. I'm not winning. Jeez. Oh my god, he bought the pack. What a loser. See, it's my opponent. Fast to LaShawn with the Zeta. 
Grandmaster Yoda with a Zeta. Power 20k. I can win this one. But if I go against the guy with the uh, JKR, I don't know if I'll make that one. He's got way higher GP than me. Why is he over here? What do you mean, why is Yoda here? No. Oh. Yoda OP. Just set up phase. I'm gonna wait for more. See what he wants to do. Tim Horton. It's a weird name. I don't think they can hear you actually. Because the mic's pretty close to me, Valley, so they won't be able to hear you. Let's see. That, oh, that actually probably means that my ships are way better than him if he has JKR. Let's see. Yeah, you can. I'm, he'll show you once uh, he can hear me. He's probably figuring something out. I think he might just have to restart his, uh, his um, Discord settings. That usually works. What do, you, what do you mean restart him? I can hear you on my phone, but i got to put it on Bluetooth. Uh, okay, so you want to go to Discord, user settings, like next to your profile, go to voice and video, and if you go all the way down, it'll say reset voice settings. It'll, like, kick you out of Discord, and it'll, it'll like, it'll change all your voice settings back to the default. That usually works. Or you Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, that worked. That might have been through your stream. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Alright, someone said they wanted to see yeah. my... Okay, we're good. Sorry, I have my phone on. Wanted to see your what? My GAC history. Yep. I was and just I showing them. What were they watching? <laughs> I have a championship and the people that are in my thing. Oh no, dude. I'm going to lose. <laughs> I'm going to lose. Nah. They are with two Zetas. <laughs> oh my god. Good good planning wins every time. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the person I'm facing now, I think I'll win the, against them. Most of these people, I think I can win against easily, but this JKR, dude. Them, J them bugs will beat JKR. How big is it? Mao, it's a. Oh, he's in rank 300. So he's got a. Gr or not a green. A yellow. Or are you watching my stream? Am I watching your stream? Yes. The yellow no. thing's also blocking, by the way. Oh, shoot. Thank you. That's why he's asking. <laughs> I mean, it is still a good sight, though. All right, so if you uh, hop on my live, you'll see him. It looks like he has his JKR and Joe Lee Zated. Yeah, he has two Zetas on his JKR and one, and I'm guessing the revive Zeta on Joe Lee. Uh, what's your, are you live on Twitch or? I am in Discord. Oh, yeah, I don't know, I know, okay, hold on. All right, just tell me when you're in. Actually, I think I can beat this guy. He's probably going to save JKR for offense. Let's see his ships. Because I have a good thing with ships. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. Oh, seven star did I? Okay, there we go. Go ahead. Ooh. Okay, so. All of these people. Oh, right? you'll, you'll beat him. You think I'll beat him? I do. Oh, he's got the Zeta and Joe Lee, but that's going to make it tougher. So uh, every time I face a team like this, I kill Joe Lee, and then he comes right back. What? So Jedi Knight revive? Revan has one revive. One revive. Yeah. What, where is that? First I've person that dies is savior. Savior. Yeah, I, I thought it was this like thing that he gave to people. First time another Jedi ally. 
So it's not really a revive, but he just basically gives him 100% health back and 100% protection and health back. Theoretically, he didn't really die. It just brings him right back up to full power, and then you got to take him out one more time. Actually, you could take anybody out one more time, and it won't happen again. So to be so, let's say I was facing this team. Yeah. I would fi I would try to kill. Who's? The, I'd probably kill Yoda right first because he's the less he's the squishiest. He right? is the squishiest. The uh, the the time you run into trouble is if he's dodging a lot, but I typically go for Yoda myself. What about how about you, Moon? That's what I typically do. Sorry about that, uh, Karan. Bastil is safe. Bastil is a safe kill. I think. But Grandmaster Yoda? I mean, I don't really have any stuns, so attacking him wouldn't really make his damage go down other than the turn meter removal from Sunfuck. Yeah. The, the, the upside is, is JKR is the one that's G12 and not Yoda, because that's when you get into trouble, because if Yoda one-shots one of them bugs, you're in trouble. Um, yeah. Yeah. For me, depending on depending on the defense and, and uh, avoidance and stuff on Jolie, he may be the double target. But Yoda's got the low height, the low. Oh my life god! Goal. Look at that! Look at that! Yeah. Dubs. Dubs. Yeah. All right, that's why. That's yeah. why. And his ships. I'll beat the ships. I have a since I have like better ships than other people. I can often like make sure I beat their best lineup yeah. for sure, and also have a good defense. It's only worked out once for me. Yep. This guy, I'm not sure if it'll work on him because he does have... He's got Houndstooth. But if he's smart, he would keep these two. Or he would just give up and go full defense. Or no, no, he'd go attack. What am I saying? He would go attack, hoping I would put bad defense. Because my ships are way better than his. Well, he's probably going to be... He's probably he there's a possibility he's not knowledgeable about the fact that JKR can be beat. So you can ex I'm gonna assume you're gonna see that on defense. You don't have any real stats with these guys yet. I mean you can look, but um, I would see, guess that he's gonna do that. Though. He's what? I'm not facing him. He's oh. I'm guessing he's gonna face me later on because ah, he's JKR. Gotcha. All right. Not a lot of people know how to face him. This guy I'm pretty confident I can beat, but we should probably go over a setup phase just to make sure. Okay, so Tenacity and offense, smart, decent speed. Front. Oh. Okay, okay. What's his critical chance, though? Yeah, yeah. It's not about every speed. third time. He's got lots of damage output and tenacity, but I can beat that tenacity easy. Bugs. Front. Yeah. I, th See, I, th I think you'd be okay. Yeah, against this, yeah. So, 3v3, so if this was 5v5, I think I'd still be going to 5v5. I think you'd be in better shape because Ben's kind of weak. His Ben? Yeah. Ben, I think his Ben's pretty good. It's only a G9. For, for me, that's a lot. Yeah, I guess. Starting out, uh, Basla. Basla full. It's the first time I'm running blue stock, so it's somewhat slow, but I figured it out. The only thing, the only reason this team... Oh, this is the is this the one you're actually going against? Yes. This okay. This is what I have to start Sorry. Against. Okay, so now that Yoda makes it a little bit different. So... Here, I'll go over what I think I would do, and then you tell me what you change. So seeing what I would do is I would... I'm not going to, like, set them up. But for this one, the bottom right, I would put this squad the squad will probably hold against anything he puts up against it. Yep. Do you uh, do you agree with that? If I think he's passed the load. He could get lucky by killing Sunfalk really fast. Yeah. With Grandmaster Yoda. What is this Zeta? Is this this one? No. Which one is it, do you think? Is your your brute's out right away, right? Yes. Or yeah, my brute. Okay. He's got Phoenix. What's what else he got with that first order? So he has Phasma. He has oh yeah, he's got some good. I don't think he has. He doesn't have full teams, but he has good characters. Yeah, so that's so that's, that, that's a good mix. That works in your favor. Yep. You've got to place three and one, right? Three and one. What do you mean? Ship, three character, one ship. 
Yeah. I, I always, I never understood why even like starting and late game they only had one slot. They should have two slots here. For ships. Like later down the game. Yes. Yeah. There, there's been talk about it in the community, but I'm I haven't heard anything from CG about it. So I would keep my Grand Moff Tarkin. I think Mace Windu is a better defensive <clears throat> fleet. Like, if you compare these two, obviously home one would be better defensive or offensive, but the way he is leveled right now... Admiral, I think a to me, Akbar's easily the more offensive uh, sh ship fleet. Now, Tarkin He's is good. Better. He's good for defense, especially when you have a tanky crew because you need to be able to get to his special ability to eliminate the opponent. Uh, Mace Windu has got more early game durability and kind of relies on your high hitters like Anakin. You know what I mean? Yeah, my my problem here is if I choose this guy, I won't get a reinforcement as fast. Or if I choose this guy, I'll probably get it two times as fast as this one. No, no, in your situation, you're not going to be able to use Akbar right now. He's just too low, I think. Yeah, I don't even think I'm going to go for him. Unless, like, I don't get a ship for a long time. God, home, uh, Akbar is the one that's handling malevolence right now. Yep. Okay, uh, well, other th other than negotiator, but I mean, yeah, Millennium Falcon can fit in anywhere. Obviously, he plays best with Akbar, but so let's just see. I need to make sure that I can. I thing is, if he doesn't take his Basilishan team into fight my bugs, he has no chance of getting past that team. He's, so I can. Just he play. I don't. He doesn't have a chance with Basilishan anyway. JKR is the only reason they can take that bug team out. The, they can they can beat through that protection. So I mean, looking at this, it looks like he's only got Ben, Bastia, and Yoda, and they're just not going to hold up. Four percent. Okay. Yeah. I was worried about that stun, but no, we should be good. Yeah, her stun's naturally low. That that that, that 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 team on defense is the route to go, and then your Bastia could potentially I'm trying to remember. Actually, uh, I, maybe counter that team manually. Maybe. I, I wouldn't trust that. I could put Ahsoka. Oh, let's see. Let's see my roster. Oh, wait. You just okay. click. Yeah, there you go. Um, so my roster. Oh, we haven't seen my roster in a while. I bet. Uh, so we got. Isley just said that uh, the devs said in a Q and A that they eventually are going to add a second fleet on defensive zone. Yeah, I was always wondering that. I never heard anything about it, though. So I could put my two best Jedi with uh, Bastila. So I have Bastila down here. I could take... I could take Ahsoka. Ahsoka's probably my uh, next best one. Knight Anakin. No, probably, probably Yoda. What am I saying? Yoda and... Yeah, you don't that, you don't have a guaranteed win if he puts FST on D, but if he puts it on offense, did you look at his stats at all? I know he only went one round, but it can still tell you what he did. Oh, I haven't looked at the stats. Very smart. Oh, he's got a lot more AIDS on the knee. Right there. Go back down. Okay. He's defense. Oh, he's down. defensive, so he's gonna put that Pastilla on D. We could look at his. We'll get at GG, right? So he's done. Um, Three rounds, which is 12 total, or uh, three total. He's got 11 defends. If that Bastia holds up every time, it's one, two, three. So how's he got 11? I think he must have done more. Because where does it say how many he's played? Guild raids, one. Collective. What? Oh, wait, no, that's single battle, so that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so... He's got 5,160 banners earned. Is that what he has currently? 5,160? Go back out. Because that'll tell you if he's done a GA before. Just hit the X button, go back out. You're going to go over to back one more. I'm sorry, click on him, my bad. Click on him. Click on the, the, the banner there, the far right side. It's Division 10. Division 10. Okay, so he's got 4,020, so he has done one extra round of GA. He probably caught the back end of the other one, maybe last two rounds. He 
Yeah, that's so weird. Mine is actually pretty decent. So if he's done, let's say, five rounds, that means he's had 11 defends, which tells me his front line has been either his ships that's or his line. front line, and it doesn't look like his ships are what's doing it. His ships are pretty good. He could put them on defense. And this early on, it's hard to win an offensive battle unless you're stacked I, I up. I full cleared every single time. Oh, I believe you. You got good ships. Look at yours no, compared to his. Yeah, yeah my ship. Yeah, my ship's carry. But, but the so, problem is, if they've played longer than me and they have better characters, they win. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's where you got to try to get defensive. But looking at this lineup, go back into his inventory. He, the only thing, the only thing that I'm seeing, you, you may really struggle with the Pastilla team, but those bugs will eliminate that team. So you may consider putting them on offense and out bannering him. What, I, what I'm more scared about is Basila, Grandmaster Yoda, Qui, Qui Gon Jinn. Because if, if he, like, if Yoda goes, right, and then he calls his ally to assist, that's a lot of damage. Plus, he has his Emperor Palpatine team, Grand Moff Tarkin, and Vader. Yeah. Which I mean. Well, by the look, by the look of his gear sets and stuff, he's more than likely not going to get through your bugs. So you can go D on his D, and you both are fighting for that top second. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Well, yeah, yeah, that did sound kind of weird. <laughs> Pencil sticking. Yeah. So, ugh. so you think I should put bugs down or keep them? Because if I don't put them down, then I have to outbanner him, which I'm confident I could do with ships. Right. But then that would mean I would have a bad defensive fleet. Uh, or not, not bad, but like it wouldn't be good. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because, I mean, if you're out bannering him, if he's bringing in a good enough team, if he puts one good enough on defense, that means your good one's going to take it out. So vice versa, it works around. The, the matter of fact is if your ships are that much better than his, you're going to outscore him in banners on ships. So mm -hmm. if you can stop him from getting through the front row, he stops you from getting through the front row. And honestly, you got a better shot of getting through his, I think, than he does of yours. And like Moon said, if something simple like Bosk, a Mandalorian, and maybe another tank, basically annihilate them one by one if you can. But I don't think you open. I mean, you got Boba Fett, but you're going to require dots to get him to annihilate, and you got to get through all the tenacity. I don't know if that can work for him, Moon. I think, yeah, my my. That's weird, because. He's got a lot of seven stars, though. What Zeta is this on Grandmaster? Which one of these are Zeta? Uh, b uh battle meditation. So what does this do? Tenacity up, protection up, foresight for two turns. It's it's his better Zeta. Uh -huh. It's the right one. Which one does he have? R2 six speed. That's not bad, but I completely outlawed him. Oh wait, yeah, we already looked at this. He just has damage. So Low they're quite gun. He has defense mod so honestly I have another question. Defense mods, like defense stats, yeah. are way worse than like protection and health, right? They're, they don't stack as well, so uh, I did a, some research on this and uh, scroll down some more. Defense adds to like particular numbers, like it'll add to armor, but it's a very small percentage. It'll add to resistance, I think, all the way at the bottom. Okay. Yeah, because I was wondering this when I yeah resistance because it gives you plus thirty defense. Obviously, it makes you tanky. Right. But how much? You know. Yeah, and. Defense is hard to stack, and I don't know. Maybe Moon knows a little more about it, but I don't know particularly if that little bit that it raises is really good against physical damage. But physical damage raises so quickly, it's. I mean, it's hard to tell. And then tenacity is mostly for uh, debuffs and shit like that. So uh, when you're going against a team that's you know heavy buffs like. Uh, but Dark Bastia and Emperor and all them guys, it, uh, high tenacity helps a lot. That's why Bastia does real well versus them. Yeah. That... If you can freeze Yoda, possibly, but uh, Basti clears stun uh, through, right? Yeah. So wait, so who goes first to line up? Because okay, so nineteen. So so Yoda goes first. Oh, she's really, really slow. Wow. Yeah. So so their lineup is Grandmaster goes probably uses his. 
basic or third ability. Actually, no, he gets foresight on his thing. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm positive he's putting Bastille on defense. He's got to be. Matter of fact, you can look. You can look at his record. What was his? Uh, does he have a GA account? Give me his. Uh, his ally code. It is okay. Are hold you ready on, once hold on. Let me get to my page here. Uh, I mean, I know someone asked for my JAC, but it's it. I've basically done the same layout every time. I could go over it. Yeah, we know. We looked. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm just uh, playing. You ready with ally code? Let me delete. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Go ahead. One, one, seven. Yep. Six, four, nine. Yep. Two, six, eight. Okay. No, he's not in there. Man. Yep. Bummer. We got his stats. Yep. So uh, those stats tell me that he's using that uh, Bastille on D. I just I don't I don't see any other team holding up that well. I mean it's a possibility, but. This early on, those those stats can lie. Kru Kru can hold up. He is at this level is really tough to beat if he's in the right combination. My mods just completely beat him. Like, yeah, he, it's like he doesn't even know how to use them. I understand, but I don't know, Moon. I think he blows right through that with the geos. I I think too, but I just this this Yoda is pretty like high geared. What's his offense? Offense, I, he uses the modders for offense. Pretty like good. That, what about his potency? Let's see. Is that down? Or keep going. That's decent. It's not great. No. No, he doesn't, Karan. He doesn't I have Thrawn. Here, let's just show Moon my Geo. Tori. What? This is my squad team. They're pretty balanced. If I put it on, I I don't like taking geos offensively. I, I because yeah. A lot of it's got to do with this. That you probably don't fully understand their control yet either. And the more I think about it, it's probably a bad idea now that I'm thinking about it. Because without understanding the turn order and where they got to go and what abilities you got to use fully, I mean it's good I practice do. for arena. Do you? okay? And I then. Do not. I forgot he's he's only five star too, and then he's not health modded real well, so defense is probably the route to take. I had him speed modded before that. He's protection I modded. Tanky. I made him pretty tanky, yeah. But my, my I understand that health mods give you more health and protection, or is it is it the opposite? Health uh, is lower than protection, right? Like mods, stats. What do you mean? Uh, protection. Uh, Hello, puppy. Okay, so yeah, for, yeah, protection gives more, uh, like, stats than health. So, I want, so when my brood gets hit and he uses his basic, the 3% that's gained back through that, like, I think it's the leader ability, he's gonna gain protection back all the time, because when you get hit, you lose your protection first. He might gain 3% health, but if he's already at 100% health, it won't matter. Yeah, that's so true. So if I mod him for protection... Then he's, he's gonna keep his like, protection up there? Yeah, and 3%, protection of like a higher amount of protection is always going to be more than if I just have that like the base protection. I'll have to reread that. I don't think I picked up on that. So it's uh, at Geno's and Allies protection. Oh, it's only protect. But they do have health skill. So I thought is, it was is, uh, Click on number 7 though because you don't have the Zeta yet. Click on number 7. Let's we'll see what you have now. Yeah, this one's still Okay, it's still 3%. That's a good point, cause but uh, I mean they're getting fifty percent health still, so they'll always get that fifty percent, which is nice. Yes. But if you, if you that? think about it though, the fifty percent health still. Let's say you've got they knocked you out of protection and you've got uh, ten thousand health, and they knock you down to five, you're gonna go back up. But if you've got twenty k in health and they knock you down to ten, you're gonna go up to twenty. You know what I mean? I think that's why the health is more important. I get what you're saying, though. It's a valid yeah. point as well. I mean, I, I, later down the line, health is definitely going to be better. Yeah. But for right now, I think because they're, like, more tanky than most people. Protection, like, when, when I, uh, if you pull up my GAC history, mm -hmm. and you go to my defensive, I think it's defensive, 
uh, defense or something like that, and you see like people going against my bugs, you'll see that they always have full health and their protection is just a tiny bit. Yeah, I, I did see that. Your guys held up really well. The the only team they brought worth it, though, I saw one guy brought Emperor Palpatine. The other ones, like Bastia, didn't stand a chance. Uh, I mean, depending on the depending on the size of the team, anyway. So yeah, I'll, do you want my squads? Because it's it's all these <coughs> squads are like my better characters. Like I don't have any good characters. Right, that right, are, right. Yeah, the rest are filler. Other than Padme, but Padme is like five k. So. Yeah, uh, Moon's asking to see your roster, uh, but Geo should be fine. Even taking out Yoda first battle is key. Uh, may need to two shot it. I think I'd be able to kill Yoda with my these three. I mean, the damage dealt. Uh, I, need to I don't know about that. I'd have better speed. I'd have better speed than them. I have my Night Sisters modded pretty decent. I yeah. Would say. Uh, here, I'll get so my concern is getting through all that uh, tenacity. Although zombie does hit with a tenacity on his basic. I think I'm pretty good with knights. So I, I understand them pretty well. It's good. And my Donka is really tanky. It's good. And my. You know, the more health you have on her, the better she heals too, right? Uh, yes. I don't have the thing that gives her more health though when she heals them. Okay. My knight sister zombie. I believe he's tanky, but not like. Yeah, moon two turns. Tanky. I switched my. What did he say? Two turns. Uh, he was asking if tenacity lasts two turns. And I said yeah. Okay. Uh, my. I can't even put any gear on them. Player lock's actually fun. So I guess I could work with the Night Sisters then because Zombie's going to take them hits for a little while and Asajj will get ramped up and once that tenacity comes down, she can land her defense down. The only thing is that Yoda throws those rebuffs up. Um, and isn't tenacity one of those? Yeah, tenacity down, I believe. Yeah. No, I mean on Yoda when he puts his buffs up. I think tenacity up is one of his. With his mass buff. I believe it's protection. Yeah, it's one of the two. Protection, foresight. Stealth, right? No. Foresight. I think. Oh, yeah, maybe not. He's wrong. He's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, Yoda does gain it, though. That's what it oh. is. Yoda gains it. But then he passes that, correct? When... Yeah, so every buff. Um. It has to. It can't be like unique. It has to be like a normal buff, and he can pass that on, excluding stealth and taunt. Okay. But he gets it. All right. So uh, you've got two different people that can throw tenacity up. Uh, how much higher were his uh, Bastia team? I know that Yoda's got to be around twenty some. I I under, I I know that what you're talking about is like damage dealing is good. But when I have Night Sister Zombie, right, when she can just take a free hit. Yeah. So. But she's it, not G10, right? No, no. So they're going to go down quick. See, the, the key to that Asajj team is that every time Zombie dies, Asajj ramps up more and more damage. So if she can continue to taunt and continue to come back, right? And then when she. Uh, is that great? But well, well, she should still ramp up. That's the difference, too, when you're talking about a lower-end team. You don't know. Like, right now, you've only got threes and fours on her. Is it fours? See, the Cruel Strikes level three, Strike Fear is four. So the big yeah, one's uh, sure. Endless Wrath. Endless Wrath? Oh, yeah, the... Oh, and then Rampage. Click on Rampage. Let's see what level you're at right now. So six... 10% offense stacking, critical chance stacking... So that's where she ramps up. Every time Zombie dies, she has another 10% crit in offense. So that's at some right. point, she's hitting so goddamn hard no matter what level she's at, but the key is keeping Zombie up. But if Asajj dies when the taunt goes down, you're done because she can't come back. Yeah, so I have her modded for speed, and I believe not potency. Oh, no. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was telling him. Try to get that Zombie to G10. It, the, the Zombie at any level... Has got to be G10. You don't even. It's only an Omega. It's it's a crazy good ability. Yeah, I I I I understand that, but like I don't have many uh, credits. Yeah. And once I get this team, like if I just stay at a, like a normal GP and try to only increase it like by a bit. Yeah. Like for good things. All right, man. We'll see you, buddy. Good. Thanks for chop stopping in, man. All right. See ya. And yeah, so 
if I get this team, I'm gonna need a lot of credits. Shanti, these these three I won't get for a long time. No. But these guys, excluding Jake and GK, these guys are gonna need a lot of credit. Almost every other platform. But yeah, oh. I could um, I could put zombie up here. I've I, I've wanted to do that. That's why I have the bookmark. Yeah, that that's it's. The only reason I say it is because your team right now is in a really good position, Night Sister wise. So, and then like you said, you can slow roll. You get mother ten mother thousands every time that event comes around. Um, your zombie, I honestly, if it were me, and I did I did this with all my accounts, I wouldn't even farm zombie once. I just get him to G ten, gear him up as high as I can get him, and then you get him out of that other event as well. Yeah, yeah that's, I got little, I got lucky with a bunch of shards from that one. Yeah. I got like probably twenty. Yeah, it's actually pretty good for that. Yeah, event. and then that way you can focus otherwise, and you don't really need to bump that zombie up at this point. So, why don't we do the easier route? We'll start with ship. So, what I like to do is I like to put enough to beat whatever they can put, one hundred percent. Yeah, if possible. I know it's all RNG, but yeah. RNG is sometimes bad. So the best fleet, let's see what he likes to use. So he likes to use, ooh, five star. Let's see, let's see what his crew is. His crew. Does he have Bosk? He does, but it's not that good. He doesn't have mods on him. I oh, think nice. I win this. Yeah. Yeah. That's good news. So, people, I don't understand why people don't put mods on people here. What? He doesn't even have good mods on his normal characters. That's what I don't get. He, come on. No, he has mods in Darth Vader. I'm calling it. Yeah. Yeah. He may be trying to stay lower. Mm. Let's see. What is his GP? Yeah, I don't know that he can take out the Bastilla team if he puts it on defense. I think if he puts his Geos on D, he, it's basically, unless that guy decides to bring Basti on offense, if he brings Basti on offense, it's a full clear. If he puts it on D, we're probably looking at a top-of-the-map battle. So, oh, I don't know. I, I feel comfortable putting Geos on the bottom because I have good 3v3 teams. Like, yeah. most of my teams right here could kill all of his teams. And keep in mind, too, man, like, there's more points typically on the bottom. I don't know if that's the case on this map because I haven't done it yet. Um, it is. Yeah. Okay, so he may be. I've had this happen so many times where people guard their ships instead thinking, oh, they're going to whoop my ship, so I need to guard that. Not thinking there's more points on the bottom. So he may guard that top. Actually, I might be able to tell you. Hang on. No, he's not on there. Damn it. Yeah. Um, sometimes you can tell where they put their people. So if he puts Bastille on top, you, you're an automatic win. Yeah, I, I also... Uh, a team I like is this team, because like, it's it's kind of RNG, but at the same time, if you do get even a couple of aids, like this team could be extremely strong well any Plus team you, any any game you play in tank attacker healer pays off but you've got uh kind of a double attacker with a small heal and a tank so it's a good team yeah and uh this is why i like using it on offense because i can i can make sure old ben takes manipulate it yeah. yeah yeah and then i'll use my heal effectively yep. and then i mean jenny and again he's, he's got an ai yep i also have this team which has two deaths so i could probably that's I could a, probably kill one person. That's a great team offensively and defensively. Yes. And at this point in the game, you may be able to stop him from ships just with that team. I think I think that's yeah, because he has to. If I put this team on the top, mm -hmm. I put both on the bottom. Of course, both of them as far to the right as possible. Uh, I can make sure that he's only going to take out one of those teams because I doubt he'll bring. Emperor Palpatine yep. with Grand Moff Tarkin and Vader, and then he'll have a Basilisk. So the and I don't think he has he has his Phoenix, but I don't think they're strong enough to beat that team. Let's see, he has extra Jedi. No he, but bounty hunters won't help because he has Nihilus though. Let's see, he's probably not modded like all of them. Oh, I'm proven wrong. Let's see. I haven't really looked at how and I uh, this guy works, but I know like what the abilities. Well, Thirteen speed. The problem with Nios is he stacks health throughout the thing, so he's hard yeah. to kill. Why does he have his protection goes into health, right? Yes, I, uh, does his? I'm not sure what Nihilus. Now I think about it, he does. He doesn't have any protection when he's in there. 
So I'm assuming. Yes. He loses all protection and gains that much yeah. max. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. That's smart. You put all the protection you can and it just transfers over to health mods. Yeah. That is smart. Yeah. A lot of people, that's what they do with Malak. So, okay. So do we? Do you want to do ships first or do we want to do people first? Uh, to place them, you mean? Yes. I always start mine out by figuring out their ships. Do I need to block my ships? Do I need to let him come through? I always start at ships. So that determines the whole GA for me when it's a ship GA. So okay, does sorry. he have anything that can beat yours? You've got... If you were to, your best possible defense is Bosk with the three Geonosians, right? Yeah, it's it's weird. Like my Bosk is high power, but I go into my ship arena. I know I'm higher in the ship arena than most people, mm -hmm. but my my Bosk gets completely destroyed. But that's okay because he's a, a meat bag in the beginning to allow the Geonosians to do their dirty work. And do, do you know what Bosk uses? Like what AI? ability he chooses first his taunt taunt okay that that that's perfect so okay so we'll put um something that's, i'm not gonna actually click on anything yet so we'll do mace windu correct it's fine yep he's gonna get protection up yeah so should i do so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep crew for turn meter not turn meter stuns on the offense I usually use Ahsoka because I, I don't want to use Ahsoka with any of these guys. These mm -hmm. are usually my main six that I attack with, yep. and then I usually use these guys on defense, and yep. I have I have it set up like this. But I'm probably sand do blood. But you know that's level one. Okay, so yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of bringing the clone trooper out first because of the uh, taunt. I don't I don't know if he gets taunt. I think he gets taunt from this. He he gets taunt. Oh, you don't have it yet. I don't have it. Do you need? I don't to know. Level? Yeah, that's it. That's right. You're good. Yeah, you'll eventually level that. There's the abilities that go with it. Two of them. Okay, so so we're gonna have this guy here no matter what. That's yes. the smartest. Yes. Yeah. The, now the thing about Windu is he can throw a taunt up, but I don't know what he defaults to. I think he he. I think this might be the smart decision. We have Ahsoka as my like main yeah. attacker. I put him in because mm -hmm. he's fast, right? So he'll he'll use his taunt. Yeah. And then I could put. Do do, do they have any synergy here? Yes. Other than capital ships. Uh, uh, synergy wise, uh, do they assist or anything? I don't think so. Uh oh. Do they clone allies oh, gain twenty percent? So. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the Galactic Republic synergy together is amazing. But, like, for assist and stuff, no. But it looks like they boost each other. I think the smarter decision actually would be to put Jedi Counselor first. Because yes. I know AI chooses uh, to, the protection one and the assist. So this, that would mean he would get the protection. Get the protection. He if he passes it to the right guy, yeah. yeah that's, that's smart. And, and because then, you've already got the tank in there, that'll give you a secondary tank later on. So you're in good shape there. And then, yeah, and then for attack, I'd have these three synergy. I, I usually yep. put Sunfac in the first reinforcement. Yep. Just so I can get that extra stun. And then, as long as these two survive, it's it's game. I yep. win. Spy has a really good assist, so if he survives, which he probably will. Do you bring all three in, in, right off the bat, or do you... I bring, I bring Spy, 100%. I bring Brew, 100%. I usually keep Slave 1 as one of the two reinforcements because of that taunt. It's pretty nice. See, the worst you should do with Geonosians is at least have at least two on the board right off the bat because you're, nope. you're, you're wanting that third one to come in and uh, get all assists from every one of them. Yeah. So I I understand that the synergy is, like, really good, but to be able to have, like, a... The stun. That's what I'm saying. You can have KRU out there first with two of them. Yeah, yeah. That's and then bring the third one in as the first assist, or the first call in. So I'd keep Sunfag for the first call in, then. Yeah, I usually. Uh, Sunfag should be on the board because he's got a taunt. I would either bring in Spy for the offense, or another good one is Soldier. I think it's Soldier. Wait, which one brings up the taunt? I think it's this Soldier. Sun, is it Sunfag? Sun oh. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I like the assist on. Uh, 
this one, the soldier, because he might use him and then it gets an assist, right? right. It's done. And then also, if I use this one, it removes one of the ability cooldown on his second, which is really, it's a really good attack. It, it makes them all attack. Click on, click on, it, he's right. Spy brings the taunt. Spy brings the taunt, soldier brings the offense. Oh, the grant taunt. I thought you meant like they do taunt. No, the so that one's kind of cool, but I hate it for one reason. It, it can go yeah. on the actual taunter too. I think that one should automatically go to somebody else so you can go away from Bosker, whatever. So, And then the uh, soldiers is offense up for two turns, I think. 40% offense. So he hits really hard when he comes in. This one's OP, though, because you remove turn meter and stun. Yeah. That's why I like this. And, yeah. then, and then he also does have uh, the taunt. I'm just concerned you don't have a tank out there and you might lose. I mean, KRU will stun right off the bat, typically. Oh, these guys, these guys, uh, they don't even have mods. So the only real problem I have is Darth Vader, which I can stun him yeah. because I, I have a better crew. Than but you're talking about having these on D, right? I'm talking about these ones are defense. Oh, those are defense. Yes. All right, my bad. Then you'll be in so good I shape. Then you'll be in good shape. You can decide what route to go then. Yeah. 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 So. Th these are the two setups I think you should have unless you're going after, like, trying to block somebody completely. I would still consider Bosk on defense and then take your chances on offense, but this is probably your best bet. Yeah, I like I like to keep crew and my geos for offense. And this guy, he's just nice because he has he has that taunt when he comes in. Taunt and counter, and yeah. Yeah. So if something is so bad, I don't have to bring Sunfunk in. I can bring this guy in. Yep. Just taunt. So all right, I'm gonna set this good. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I think we have ships. Ships is good. Okay. So I mean. We could do a back line now, but I think it would be smart to do the front line. Yeah, you need to do the front line. Um, so we're thinking Bosk here, right? And then that's that's what here. I'm thinking. Cause I think he's going to struggle to get through, and even if he does get through, he may not be able to beat that ship line up. At this point, you guys have both only got two. You're not going to have enough to attack twice. So it's one or one and done, and that's it. Uh, I'm thinking because uh, like if he does he probably won't beat the ship lineup to be honest because that ahsoka just does so much damage yeah she does a lot and with bosk out there holding it off that's why uh karan there's i mean there's different situations why to put houndstooth there but i agree with him in this standpoint he he may get a hold which will give if that ship holds he wins his ga yeah because he's which not going to lose on offense mm -hmm. so i'm trying to think like a bosk if I want that full clear, I would keep Bosk on my lineup. Right. So full clear gives you more points, right? So you can get to Kyber faster. Yes, but in this one, the three v three, the points are very generous this round. Uh, with three v three, they significantly lowered it. You could probably win seven and make Kyber if you're extremely efficient. What if? Ooh, oh, the, I was thinking that I could put the Night Sisters because they're a good squad and they don't give a lot of banners. Yeah, they take a lot of banners away. Yeah. But then again, I kind of need them. I, the I, in this case, I would, because you're going to be putting something up, he's not going to get by. I would find something that's going to strip banners to put on the top, let him get through it, or maybe he doesn't get through it, but something that's going to strip banners, and then you save something that's going to keep banners, which is going to be Bastia, yes, to take his top him. out. Bastia, I said it again. Yeah, I did it again. <laughs> He's tricking me. Okay, so oh wait, I don't have a three-star boss. No. Did I not promote him? He should still be able to go in. Do you got to be three-star to go into GA? No, no, no. Um, it's just that that boss, uh, it it helps a lot for the shit. I think. Oh, I got gotcha. you. He's at like 190 right now, I think. In my actual. <clears throat> That sucks. I don't even have. He's not even really reliable right now, then. Yeah, he's so, not. He's probably not gonna hold up with that two star. When I player lock, you know, I I added a bunch of gear to him too. Yeah. When I player lock, and it says like twenty four hours until or twenty three hours until player lock. Yeah. When I click the player lock button, does it lock all my people? Because I think I yes. have the Zeta on after. Yes. So. That sucks. Maybe my brood won't have its mod then. Or I guess I can't if you're in the are we in the GA thing right now I turned away we're still in the GA setup right 
Yeah. So whatever you, you have right now is what you should have. It'll only show you your locked squads. So to your point, right. you may have put the Zeta on, but you three-starred him after the lock. Yeah, I th but I think, because I put, let me just check his this guy's gear, because... Okay, no, I put this gear on. Maybe it's a ship that was OP. Yeah, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay, we're all good. I was. I thought I I mixed up the power with the person and yeah. the ship. Now Boba Fett is just absolutely okay. nasty at this stage of the game at seven star. Wait a minute. When I have him in here, it's two star. But when I go to edit, it's three star. Yo, this game's broken. Yeah, no, it's because that's it's what I was broken. telling you right now. You're, it's showing you the actual, and then uh, when you go back out, it's showing you what you're allowed to use. That's weird. Why can't they, like, switch that? That's so weird. Yeah. Hmm. That's not that far. I wish I could, like, see what this guy had, though. Like, that should be a thing. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You I can see you can see your opponents that way. You just can't see yours, apparently. This is a good whole team. I mean, his Phoenix might be able to get through it, which is the only bad part. Hmm. Oh, th this boss team. Boba is definitely carrying this team. Boba's, Boba carries that team all day long, and if he gets a nice uh, execute off with some dots, it's really sweet because they lose a ton of banish from that right there. Yeah, I'm just scared if they have that res on from Hera. Which, I mean, let's just hope that Boba's smart. Yeah. Let's just hope he's smart. Okay, so let's just make sure we're at the top. So you're going to go with the Bounty Hunter team? Yes. Okay, so uh, offensively we've got the Geonosians on D. We've got uh, Bastila on offense, the controllable Ben, and then the Night Sisters. Uh, wait, are you saying offense or yeah. defense? Just trying to make sure you have enough offense to get through what he's got. So for offense, I'm keeping this team, yep. this team, this team, and this team, just in case he places like something bad. I might lose Vader. I could also use this team. What's up, Mr. Team. H? Yeah. And then I have this as a cleanup, but you might not clean up. Uh, I have this is a decent team. I might have to switch Luke with a healer. Uh, or maybe Luke. Hmm. I have this team, but yeah, I'm not going to use it. So I need no, they're, they're too low anyway. Um, I really, I really, 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 really like... KRU on both sides of the spectrum, but uh, that team can go either route. I mean, but I, I don't, I don't know that there'll be a good banner stripper. I'm trying to think which one because really in this situation you need a banner stripper. You got to out banner him. Grand Moff Tarkin has an AOE. He's got a nice AOE. Uh, cannon is it? No, they don't have. He doesn't have a Zeb, right? I'm pretty sure his Zeb is the one with protection, and you hit protection first. So if he doesn't use a Zeb. He loses banners, and my Grand Moff Tarkin is. Well, Kanan offers bad. protection as well. Kanan? I thought he was counter. Protection up, cooldown at three. Yeah. I think this. If they were to take Kanan in, it would be a very fast fight. I think. Mhm. Mm because there's no healers on my side. But yeah. There is crew, which does take a while to get through. Yep. But if crew taunts, do you know if crew taunts right away with this basic? Probably not. If what? Uh, I don't no. think so. I think he needs to. You can take a look. Yeah, I think it would make sense that he would stun this. Oh, the first thing he does, yeah. He. I thought you were asking me if he pre taunts. He. Uh, he doesn't pre taunt. He uses halt pretty much, predominantly. Yeah, that that makes the most sense. I'd feel like his third ability is just for health. Yeah. Okay, so Bosk, Geos, uh, trash, Adme. trash, <laughs> absolute trash. Adme's not trash. No, you, I'm telling you, put absolute trash back there and save every team to get through his line. I don't think you need to put anything back there myself. So clear on the boss. Uh, yeah, I mean Bosk is a good team uh, against the Phoenix, and uh, they're a decent team against Palpatine, depending on how they're built. The only one you'll run into trouble with is KRU that I saw on that list. 
is yeah with but he doesn't have a KRU other than with Phasma, so he'd have to put in a really good third. So, uh, yeah, his Phasma was... Yeah, Phasma is not good other than... Boba Jango. Fett and Django Fett are going to pull banners off immediately. And so even if you lose this fight, yeah, you're going to be in good shape from that standpoint. Okay, so good? Yeah. I don't know how those Zeta do, so like, it's extra health. Yes. I'm scared that I'm going to like set it in the wrong place. Yeah, I know, right? I go back all the time and look. <laughs> get corner of the thing. All right, so this will be Geo's. Right? Yeah. Take swap out. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Give it a goddamn guy a heart attack. <clears throat> no, lose no GAC. Oh, my God. At least put Poggle in there. You get something out of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good to go. team and then offensively we just got to make sure we we can try to get through that Bastia team i just don't know that it's going to happen unless the night sisters pull out a miracle i uh, also have this team which is pretty good for uh like offense it's pretty good offensively that's not going to do anything against that basti team i mean it, it could be a cleanup these bugs are pretty strong yeah and they're really fast and well modded yeah my count dooku i'm pretty sure he might even be missing mods. Yeah. Well, the ultimate goal in this one's going to be to get through that top section as cleanly as possible, right? Because oh, so, and the, the one thing I'm going to tell you is wait as long as you can, go last. Uh, that way, you know right. if you need to undersize or not, or whatever you need to do, because your ships you may have to undersize. Uh, I, I'll be honest. Every single time I've done a GAC, I've done it like as soon as I could. I, oh my I god, this guy. Okay, no problem. I, that's, I on, know, that's on you. I know it's bad, yeah. but I don't want to like miss it miss it know? yeah i understand i will i do i do wait like a maybe an hour or two he's like i wait an hour i'm hoping the other guy's more aggressive than i am yeah i just don't want to wait you know I yeah i think you can play so let's put pad back you think or ooh, should i switch up these lineups the stormtrooper or huh? er, Oh, he's okay. not he's not getting to him, so I honestly don't care what you put back there. I just uh Well this team isn't offensive, like this won't be a if, if I was to put something back there, that Night Sister team is pretty weak, but it's a hard it's a hard hitting one, which will again strip banners. But the the fact of the matter is if he gets through your geos, you're probably not gonna win. So so I have uh there's there's three the squads that I have to be, so I have one, two Yep. three and then i have two backups which i mean it's unlucky if one of them is and more, so more, yeah, li more than likely i mean the ultimate goal is that you're not only going to use one team if you have to end up using two you're going to have to I get through bastilla unless he screws up so i've never had a second attempt I've always i saw that it. yeah so yeah. that's good um i just in my uh, or uh, nice ones, right? yeah I, I i just feel like you need to hold on to padme just in case, while well, she might not be. Yeah, the, the problem with this team is that they have no damage, so they're just basically either trying to waste time, which like they can't do. Well, the reason I say that is maybe for some reason you got to use Padme with Anakin and Ahsoka instead. It would depend on what he laid down. You know what I mean? I, I mean, this Padme. It's not going to be very strong. Yeah, she's only forty-seven hundred. Never mind. Yeah. Never so... mind. Go ahead, just drop it. I'm not even going to be rethink. <laughs> I'm just telling you, the Night Sisters are going to strip anybody they go against. They're going to take protection down. I like. I see. I like this one because it's it's potency with the stagger, so I can I can take out one person. You've got foresight, a stun. You've got plague. You've got stagger. I mean, there's so much on that one. They're not going to last long. They're going to die fast. But again, if he gets to your rear, you're going to lose. Smart. You're smart. You're smarter. We got to do this one. Okay. All gear seven. Are you sure? Set. So I, nope. I'm just telling you. All right. Yeah, I know. That's look at look. Even Kron's saying, "Why are you Why are you debating the back zone? They're not going to get there." Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. But <clears throat> you're in good shape. So the the Bonnie Hunter's job is to strip banners, and it's a low boss. You could if you get a hold, that's great. But the whole point is to strip banners, and then you just need to get through that front wall uh, effectively. And then um, maybe it's not special. If you see an opportunity to. Oh, it's already restarted, hasn't it? Um, if you see an opportunity to undersize the ships safely, then you can utilize that as well. 
Yeah, that's what I like to do. I I didn't have a full setup for my Moff Tarkin. I I had the uh, Cad Bane ship. Yeah. But it's it's only level one. It just has a good Cad Bane. I get the gut feeling, according to that stat, that he goes heavy defense up front, um, and then brings his full offense ships. No matter what, I think I win this. So I think you're in good shape. Yeah, you're Somewhere. in good shape. I like it. You're in good shape. I, I I don't know why he's debating either. He's all he's money. Next round might be a little bit different. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna face this guy. Like so, if I was to face this team, he would probably keep he'd probably keep Joe Lee. Look right, at well, think? look at his stats first. When are you people gonna listen? Uh, ooh, that's a lot. He's very offensive. If he if no he he knows that if he brings that JKR he's going to lose, unless he uses his against bug. Eighty-seven, twenty-eight, seventeen rounds cleared. That's seventeen full clears already at this level. He's very offensive. Very sure. offensive. Let's see his team. <clears throat> Man, why they got to put? Me he didn't have a whole lot of defense, which tells me he's bringing JKR on offense. Yes, that's exactly what I thought. Uh, so his. Oh, he is. Are they high gear? They're probably not. You know how to tell what gear they are? Uh, not exact. I know like the colors of gear. So but I'm not the purple with nothing in the middle there on Echo. Oh uh, yeah. There's nothing in there. That's eight. Like that. That's so nine. That's nine. And, and and then if you look at Yoda, that's I'm sorry, ten. I'm backwards. Let's yeah, start. Yeah. Let's start backwards. Gold on Revan is 12. Yoda is a double inner bar. That's 11. Bindo is a one single inner bar. That's 10. Uh, full purple is, uh, yeah, Fett is 9. I'm trying to think what 8 is. 10, 9. That's smart. So so he's 11. He's 10, 9, 8. Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew that it had to be something with the outside because I like saw this. But I just I didn't I didn't click click on right. Boba. I feel like I'm missing something. Six, oh, five. Yeah, it doesn't show you on there. Um, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight. Mission is eight. Thank you, Peppin. Uh, where's mission? Yeah, there you go. It's missing the top bar there. See the top inner bar? There's a secondary. This is. Oh yeah. Cause See how there's two. There's a there's a purple. That's what it was. Purple ring. And then there's it starts with the one little notch, and then it goes to a second notch. Then it goes again to the inner side twice, and then it's gold. Oh, it's the ring. Yeah. Yeah. So this is. Six? That's seven. Seven. Okay. Seven. And then six is blue, if I'm not mistaken. Look at Windu, but blue also has like see the little notches. I'm pretty sure he's okay. six. On who? Windu. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. And then like, Luminara is four. See how she's only got two while he's got six of them? So yeah. fi five would have four of them. Four has I mean, two they, of them. They bring a blue. I think I could. Uh, yeah. Because that means they're yeah. less than gear six. Yeah. I don't yeah, worry yeah. about blues either. So his let's just think his three teams would be these two and probably Yoda, I think. Yeah, so he's going to definitely bring Bindo with uh, Revan because you've got multiple revives, even with the Savior. So, um, that could be difficult. I might have to bring my bugs on that. Thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it, uh, it, it depends on how that shapes up. You're gonna uh, again. I'm gonna advise you. Look at your ships first. If he absolutely cannot beat your ships, His ships are terrible. I think this yeah. is if they just absolutely cannot get to you through your ships. Put up your best defensive ship. Take yours, that knowing that you can get through his. Let him go right through to your ships if you want, uh, or put a banner stripping team, because a lot of times that's what I'll do. I'll allow an overpowering team to actually go right to my ships, knowing that they can't beat them, or at least we'll take a multiple shot at them. And that gives that's me more offensive power. And if he's got JKR on D, I'm sorry, on offense, you've got no worries on your offense. You know what I mean? Yeah. This team, though, I mean, I'd use Bastila against it. I think, yeah, I think my team, this, 
My soul could definitely be set, and that's the main attacker. Yeah, because this guy's probably less than three. So, nice and close. Yeah, but he didn't upgrade leader, so I don't think I did actually either. Putting our heads together, boys. Putting our heads or together. No, I did, I did, because if you upgrade the leader ability on a ship, it also increases the ship. Yeah, you gotta. The, unfortunately, with the ship characters, you should put the leadership because the GP uh, go or the power of the ship goes up. This Daka is good, but he did again upgrade the leader. Keep in mind too, with Daka in three v three, she tends to be a really good leader mm -hmm. um, in certain situations because she gives a ton of defense and health off of leadership, and that makes zombie absolutely terrorizing. Yes, and they have. Two, the two main, but I think it's just, yeah, he's, he's going for nice sisters. He's trying to stay below though. He's 799. Kind of, oh yeah, he's just, he's got a G, he's got a G10. He's, he's basically me, but he has JKR instead of bugs. Yep. And JKR by itself is one person and bugs are a whole team. Yeah. And he has also the, well. yeah, I wouldn't overthink it. I think you'd be all right. thinking like it, it's really a 50 50 if he goes offense or defense yeah maybe he has uh, I, I, I'm pretty confident you may be able to pull his up to what's his uh, oh, go, the stats uh, the stats don't lie I've only had one ever in eight grand arenas lie to me and I think it was because uh, he actually looked at my stats Five two um, five eight two nine. One of the people. One four. Oh, do you want me to read them out? I got Six, it. One, four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One time. Uh, Mal. I, I just use the same uh, setup really every time. I know it's not the best, but they don't have a good IGG, so they probably don't know about it. He lost. Uh, he uh, lost his last GA. His JKR couldn't beat a Night Sister, uh, Mother Talzin, Asajj, Zombie. I don't have a good. Yeah, actually, if uh, I do... Did, my oh, I already... down here? did you bring your extension cord down no, here? No, did I leave my Xbox controller down here? I haven't seen it. Never mind. Uh, he lost his last round. Pretty badly, actually. He couldn't get through two teams on offense. Um, he placed on defense Phoenix. Phoenix. And Daka lead, ironically. Um, so who, wait, who was his JKR lineup? Who was JKR with? Is that exactly who we thought? Uh, Jolien. And he's placed uh, them on offense every time. And he actually undersized a. He used Bastille lead only versus three. What was it Poe, Stick Ray, and Finn? And who was in that Bastille lead? Uh, uh Solo. Or Solo. Solo. Did they, he didn't win it, did he? Oh yeah, he won it easily. Full protection. <laughs> what? That, was, that team must have been terrible. Yeah. It was probably one of the ones I said. It's just a scrap team. Uh, typically he brings Ben and Ahsoka. So he knows what he's doing. Which is not good for me. Oh, I didn't even check the mods, I don't think. He yeah, obviously doesn't know what he's doing. He couldn't beat a Night Sister team. He's, he's either really smart... Oh, really but against that Night Sister team, he didn't bring Bo, uh, Jolie. He brought Basti and didn't put her in the leadership role. He did. Which I, that wouldn't have mattered anyway, because that'll go under protection. Plague does. He is uh, basically 100 speed on JKR, and he's modded for 11k protection. Yeah, that's pretty good. Extra. His other stats aren't the best. He's got 1k in health. Yeah. Got a little bit of critical chance. I love how we're pre previewing our next round. We're playing chess here. Because yeah, but this guy's he's he's probably gonna get it. Cause like, look at this. Look at this. Listen, he's not gonna get it. He's not. He's no not. So. No. You think no. he won't be able to beat this team? Oh, I'm. I, I thought you meant you. He's not gonna beat you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This team. He made. <laughs> nice, Pepin. <laughs> We had a pretty good one a couple days ago. Good troll, I ain't trolling. What do you mean? <laughs> so yeah, this team, that's, that's an easy win. Uh, Ooh, see. interesting. What are his ships? This guy? Yeah. Wait, 
He 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 used Tarkin, Umbrin, and Jedi Counselor to take out a guy's entire fleet. It was probably it was no the fleet. He used Tarkin ship and only Umbrin and Jedi Counselor. So you you wait you're talking about the guy with the JKR right? Yeah. Okay. Mawa, Mawa or whatever his name is. Mao. Yeah. That. And he doesn't even have a good ship. Is the underside ship a thing? No, go to his ships in general. Okay. He's got a lot of undersides. You see that? 46 of them? 46. That's a lot. Yeah, but he's played a lot more than... So his... Let's look at the size of his Umbran. His Jedi Counselor is 7 star. What's his Umbran? Starfighter. Right there, six stars, all the way down. Okay. Uh, so he used that team right there, along with Executrix, to take out one, two, three, four, five, six, te- six ships. I'm going to assume those six ships were absolute trash ships, but I could be wrong. So it gains 20% turn meter and target enemy gains. How was that? How was that good? What? Uh... 20% turn meter target enemy gains 20% turn meter. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that would be better when it's more leveled up. Maybe you take the game. Unless you're trying to get a tank's uh, That's turn meter That's turret taunt to go away. They'll, this is an insane one. Holy crap. It's a basic two. Yeah, can, uh, Karan, I think he gambles a lot too, this guy. I, uh, I near the, the, mal. the other guy. Uh... Bounty Hunters. Bounty Hunters on D. Night Sisters on D. Clones on D. It looks like he looks like he puts his home one and a bunch of tanks on defense. It was, well, my fleet definitely beats his, so I think I yeah. just go with a strong fleet and like maybe keep one less reinforcement. Yeah. Depending on what's going on, I I definitely if I face this guy, I'm definitely waiting, hundred percent. There's no way I would. Yeah. Other people, I I, don't, I take the chance because I know that they probably don't have a chance against my bugs. Well, this guy does. he's he's by the look of his attack strategy. Where's his pal uh, Palpatine? Palpatine Bastia Vader is one. Uh, it's not that. Not good. very good. His yeah, Basti. But, but that's the leadership. We don't. What, uh, his regular Basti, what's she look like? Is she pretty solid? Yes. Okay. That's the one that he soloed with. But again, in his loss, his JKR took a big hit. Basti, yep. I think he's after the banners, and <clears throat> you can... And that may be because of his weakness in ships. I think you go full offensive on him, honestly. Full offense? Yeah. I th- like bad stuff? Or... I, no, I, I I just think you keep your top three teams. Uh, you can potentially you could potentially use your bugs, and this is what I'm thinking, right? And you, th- you might think I'm crazy. Mm-hmm. Let go me look ahead. at something real quick. Uh, I wish I could tell like weird people like Zalbar and Mission like those two are good they could be put in many situations probably with Admiral Akbar no in this case it ain't gonna work I was gonna say maybe you put the bugs in the rear and he wastes JKR but he doesn't he uses other teams to undersize so he knows how to play so he's not gonna waste that JKR but he is breaking, bringing that JKR on offense so you put up a team up front to force him to use it and you're in pretty good shape no, I think, he might be. I think I think he still goes for it. I mean, there's always that opportunity, but I think he goes for it. If you put them bugs up on offense, you got a you got a chance that they're going to lose. But the upside is, you know, he's taking JKR on offense. If he puts, if you put him on D, he's going to use that JKR. He may or may not beat them. So you know that one team that you can't can't beat with anything but the bugs, he's going to be wide open on D. And I'm and looking at his defense, he's very consistent with the clones, the night sisters and the bounty hunters. Also, so let's say let's say I do 
let's say a random opponent, right? I get through their good defenses. Who do you think is a good solo character on my roster that could think <clears throat> solo? Because, I mean, there's crew, but, I mean, actually crew could be. Crew potentially one. in the right scenario, but you're gambling. Uh, Brood Alpha is the best one you have currently, but you obviously don't want to break that up. It's five star, too, so. The best. I think those are the only two. Maybe boss, but like he's still really low. No, he's too low. Yeah, and it is still a gamble. And you rely on uh, damage to get protection and health back. So the more your guys are hitting, Darth just Vader could be, but he's not. For high. in your scenario, your undersize is on your ships. Yes. So and you actually will gain more banners from ships than you will from characters potentially. I mean, I'd I'd rather my roster over the, that JKR guys because who cares? <laughs> uh, Personally, I would do. I mean, <sighs> Cupkin Solo. You, you, yeah, you could obviously go either either route. You can put him on defense and go ahead and play through. He's not going to have anything on D. If you put bugs on D and then put your C teams on the rest of the spots and let him get through your ships. Put a, a fair, a good team in the back just in case he does get through the bugs, like those Night Sisters that could be pesky, um, and then just utilize everything else you have to one shot the rest of his. So if there, I'm just going for banners, I could probably just like a, a team like his. If he doesn't have good defense, I could probably just like have <clears> two <throat> people instead. The one thing and I can make sure that he has to use three. Yeah, and that, I was just going to say the one thing when you when you run into these very heavy undersized guys, you need to figure out what they use undersized, what they undersize with, and block that. Don't let them undersize it. Force them to beat you the the hard way. But if I put a bunch of C teams, he's going to undersize them. So, uh, the, but I'm just saying in that one front row, he can undersize it, and you can make that up with ships. Primarily in this, what I'm looking at from what I see right here without going deeper and seeing what their actual levels are, for me, you either go full offensive and beat him with ships because he's going to have to undersize a shitload and he can undersize if you, well, he will go, sorry, he will go uh, undersize because you're taking a lot of offense or you can go extremely heavy D knowing that he's coming heavy offense and just outbeat him that way because he's not going to be able to undersize. To me, the best plan against this guy is defense. I th I think I don't think I could hold a good defense. But you're not going to yeah. hold. He's probably going to get through it. But you're also yeah, going to get I through. Mean, you're also going to get through. You just he's he, I don't think so, he's beaten teams. Why not? Because okay, so he has his. Um, is he even the right? No, this is the right guy. <laughs> okay, let me do event rewards. Your ships are going to hold, right? Hundred percent. My ships are going to beat his. But if he, let's say he uses JKR on like one of my C teams, like if I go full offense, that's a one player solo. And, or he could use that Bastila solo on someone one, like that Padme team, like that would be easy. Yeah. But if I, if I put like, let's say bugs in, he'd have to use, or what was I saying? If I put like a bunch of defense up, he's going to get through it. And then his offense won't be, or his offense will still be somewhat good. Is that what I said? Yeah. So he's going to use these two, most likely, and Yoda. And then he's going to probably have these three. And then he also has uh, the three clone troopers. And he also has Zalbar mission. He has the Basil. He has Emperor Palpatine. Like, that's a lot of strong team. He used... Uh... And if I go defense heavy, I won't be able to beat them. He used Finn Mission Val Zalbar last round. He does change his defense up. I'm um, looking at it. His offense. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's his offense. Hold on. Resistant, bro. What? Oh, and half the other. That's not bad, especially for Zalbar and Mission's offense. That's actually a pretty good team. Oh, but his Finn is just not. No, it's nothing on it. <laughs> I don't get people. That Finn's going to go down fast. They're relying on the dots and everything else to. And that synergy between the two. Boss, clones, got... Night Sisters. Yep. I mean, his Night Sisters are 
I think they, they're better than mine. But my setup's better, because I have Daka more tanky. And my... My Asajj... But I have to kill Asajj right off the bat. And then it'd be an easy win. So his... So his, his, speed them. his clones and his... Night Sister combo are always on defense. I could take fast a little lead with Yoda against the clones. And maybe in Mace if Yeah, I'll probably take Mace. Extra hits. Extra tank. Okay, uh yeah, I could easily beat this team with my Basila, <coughs> but I probably would wait. I probably do the bottom their bottom first so I can see all the team. Never seen this person. Who is this? T three and four. He's got a nice heal for droids. He doesn't have anyone to go with, really. Other than Zalar. Yeah. Who's he gonna put Bastila with? Because he should use Bastila. HK, probably. Or I guess they don't really have synergy because there's no. Hey, I don't know how to say that, but I'll say Gujala. Uh, welcome to the stream. How do you defeat Geos in 3v3? Jawas. <laughs> Jawas. Um, I think it's less reliable, though, right? The Jawas. Nope. Because. No, no. Nope, I'm three for three. Uh, what if, but more Jawas getting hit? Yep, but think about it. There's less Geos hitting, right? So I thought the same thing in the beginning. So they're not hitting. There's not five of them hitting them over and over. But uh, in a 3v3, they share less of a health pool. And then, so they're not healing quite as quickly. And then um, my guys are geared. And that's what the key is. They got to be geared just right. And oh. I mean, it's been a simple thing. And then. I actually I think, I think you're right, but w what about the assisting? Because the assisting does like less damage. So yes, if people are just taking normal Means... turns, they're doing full damage. If they're taking assists, <clears throat> they do less damage. So that means the assists that are doing less damage also keep putting on bombs on them that deal the same amount of damage. If they were to do a, a normal attack. Yeah. So to your point, they do less damage every time they hit an extra one, so they're not hitting as hard. But my guys are living longer because it's two less hits. Um, I haven't even come close to losing that battle yet. Okay. That, uh, and, and the thing is, is both ways, yeah. the the bombs you only need about. I I figured out with a relic, geo. I only need fourteen bombs on them. Relic. Yep. Fourteen bombs. Ooh. Uh, what is that? A gear. 12 scav? No. Uh, uh, yes, it's a gear 12 scav who is highly crit, highly high crit avoidance, high crit, high potency. Um, and then all my all my other guys, Nebit is fast, Engineer is fast, and uh, there's some abilities in there that you have to use in a certain order in order to make it happen. Like, the most important part is scavenger has to survive, so if he stealths, uh, he needs to crit to stealth. If he crits on his basic, he stealths. If he yeah. doesn't stealth, then you give... I think it's the taunt from Nebit can randomly stealth someone, and a lot of times it's him. And then uh, Engineer has a crit up ability on his last ability. So there's a lot of variables. And then he also throws an extra bomb if you want it. So when you when you use uh, Engineer, doesn't he give like turn meter to the... Does it to his allies? Yes, it's so crit it's crit and turn meter, yes. So that's the first ability you use, right? Not necessarily, depending on where the geos are sitting in uh speed wise. So if they're it's kinda confusing, but um when I play them out, probably about eighty percent of the time I use that ability at first. The the only time that you that I'm gonna lose is if they manage to get if Poggle's in there and they ability block him and they're not gonna use Poggle in three V three. Because he what can't, he can't your, blow the bombs up if he's ability blocked. What if you made your engineer really fast so that he could buff the turn meter, and instead of like having them all really speedy, you could like make certain mods <clears throat> match up so that the turn meter. Yes, that's what I have. I've got engineer. The have? engineer goes first. Nebit goes directly after. He's like three. It's like two thirteen, two ten, and then scavenger's like one eighty seven. But it, but if um, how much turn meter does he give? Do you know? Off the top of my head, no. You got the screen up. Go check it. Okay. Let me check up a right. chat here. 
Uh, I think having be. Chief Nevit or whatever, having him right behind speed wise, you don't necessarily need because if he uses the turn meter, that speed's kind of wasted. And then you could put those like extra stuff somewhere else. Like instead of speed, you could have more health. I think I'll call you GJ because yeah, I, I, I laughed. The first thing I saw was Moon, and I'm like, I can't call him Moon. Uh, I agree with the Jawas, although it's uh, needed to have them geared up and great mods. So no. I disagree with that statement for this standpoint. I understand what you mean, but my scavenger at G10 was doing this. The only difference is I never lose now because he's G12. My other Jawas are G8. Uh, the mods only require health, critical avoidance arrow on everybody but Nebit. Nebit needs a speed arrow. That's it. I mean, everything else is scavenger. Everything else is scavenger. It really is. It's a beautiful thing. What's that? Are oh, you talking to me or him? I was talking to chat. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Because this is forty-five percent turn meter. <clears throat> yep. It's probably a Zeta, right? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, that's pretty good. No. Um. And there's I there's the other part. I'm sorry, I don't want to cut you off. Your yep. omegas, you only need like forty percent of the omegas to make this happen. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, there, you said they were like low gear. All you need is scav, which is like a one man yep. team. It's a very cheap investment. It's pretty good. That's why I think they're good. Like that's why I want to get them because they're low GP. Yeah. And they're like very viable. But I figure I don't know what my Java team is off the top of my head, but I think it's forty three K amongst the three of them. Maybe. Yeah, that's pretty good. You're taking down seventy Ks, right? So well I've got yeah, I've got a forty when they're fully geared with the where they're at right now, my job is five V five. There is 70k, and I've taken out 95k, but consistently 85k. And if I, I took out 126k with removing Jawa and putting Nest in, and Nest only needs to be like G10 to make that happen. Of course, that's got to be good RNG, and um, it, it's it's got to be really good RNG to make that happen. But I consistently with a G. 11 nests can take out with those Jawas 105 without issue. So, there's no mass assist with Jawas, right? Uh, no. Okay, so if I were, if you were to have an engineer just modded for speed, right? Yeah. He uses everyone else is modded for everything but speed. You could the challenge is stronger. stronger. How many, how many hey, challenges? thank you, brother. Appreciate it. How many how many turns do you think you usually get for scavenger? For like everyone's dead. So if you you get two, two. So is the second one really needed? Yes. You'll probably get you'll probably get two, but yes. So someone die. It, it here's the thing in three v three. The my my engineer is really weak, so I pretty much have used that ability in three v three every time. I pop that turn meter, which more importantly at that point I don't really need the turn meter typically unless they're a really fast geo and when i pop that i'm getting that crit chance up now here's the thing that people don't understand and i learned this when i was video editing each of those bombs has the opportunity to crit individually so yeah, I heard that in a video or so 14 if i got 14 bombs up there and if 12 of them go off it's like having 20 bombs instead of 14 you know what i mean so it's a huge explosion and they can't survive that typically and Again, because the key, the other part of that is scavenger dies, no more bombs apply. And there's no one there to launch those bombs. So he has got to stay alive to launch them. And he's got to stay alive in order to uh, lay them. If he gets hit, like mine survives three to four rounds of hits from 3v3 geos. So I mean, I'm in good shape. He cannot get, he, they can't stun him. The only thing they can do is ability block him and Pago's not in there. Is that due to an ability or do you have a lot of tenacity uh for what uh why can't they uh ability block him or stun him because there's nobody there to ability block him poggle's not in there and nobody has a stun with the geos well usually when you fight geos there's a poggle right so yeah oh so in a 5v5 you're talking yeah yeah okay so, so no that's the one time i can run in trouble that's where stealth comes in um in a 5v5 i typically if he's stealth I'm winning that fight because my other G, uh, Jawas typically make it out. I've only been ability blocked twice. And both times I was screwed. 
Sometimes I survive. Sometimes you survive long enough because Scavenger's got so much health now that um, the bombs will go off because they go off after two rotations of Geos. Once they go take two turns, they go off. Spy always dies first. He's, for whatever reason, he's fastest in the rotation because um, the turn meter gain from his from the team or whatever, he always blows up first. So and, they only have two turns. Why not just have Engineer, like, really speedy? Because it doesn't matter if he dies, right? So he just gets the turn meter. But it's the Geonosian's two turns, not the Jawas. Yeah, but if the bomb's already, like, going off, then... And they have like extra like tenacity probably. Why would it matter if like engineer dies? Engineer does engineer doesn't matter. It's if scavenger dies. So the engineer typically dies as one of my first. Um, yeah. I guess I could show you guys how it works. Um, I mean, I'm just talking about like you have your chief nebit what three speed behind? Yeah. The engineer. Yeah, because I need so that you, taunt. If you're always doing this. So is it is it squad placement that determines if everyone's at 100% turn meter who goes, or is it whoever got 100% uh, first? Your speed on the character themselves in this squad determines who goes first. So yeah, but if you, if you pop this turn meter and they're all at 100% because they're all oh, that's a good first, question. Yeah, because if if chief if you all go and there's no well you're hitting brute, so he's gonna counter. But if you there's not really a point to having such close speed unless engineer dies and if they're getting hit the only reason i have engineer fast is for that crit chance up that's the only reason that's the only reason because it, he's gonna die quickly honestly if gonna, ability for if you're gonna press the ability no matter what why not take use of the turn meter? well it's the same one the crit chance and the turn meter are the same one but i get yes. what, i get what you're saying so I can I can slow down. Um, what's his name? Scavenger because he's going to get that turn, or slow down Nebit because he's going to get that turn. So not yeah. necessarily. I mean that's a good point. I could try putting a crit arrow on Nebit and not working about worrying about the taunt because he's probably going to go next. Yeah, I, I would. You probably want Scav speed because you want him to get his turn up. Yeah, I don't want to lower the speed on him because I need him to take that second turn. But to your point, I will test out and try. That's a good point. Because um, I can slow Nebit down and actually put a crit avoidance arrow on him, which is going to increase his survivability. I mean, I understand if you're like 20, 15 speed behind, but like yeah. if you're three, then you're yeah. not really taking full advantage. No, that's a good point. See, that's why I love the battalion. We talk we talk strategy. That's a good point. I like it. All right. Um, we were talking about before this whole thing. I don't know, but we need to, before we get off here, we need to run the Jawas. All right. Well, we were, we were in GA, but um, how do you feel about, I mean, we kind of were getting off track on different things, which is fine. Uh, but CLS is going to be your next goal. Yeah. And then uh, I guess it's kind of hard to predict where you're going to go from that point, but we already know, and I love your lineup for what I was telling you a minute ago, you're gonna have GK in a in in a, in a in a hot minute. You're gonna have the Jedi and a Padme team full and ready to go. Yeah, I understand. Padme is like Padme beats everything. Right? She's Almost so like versatile, that. right? Yeah. So That's why I've been starting to gear them. They're up here. Yeah, yeah. So you've really got to consider that ne one of your next few Zetas going on her, because like the Geonosians, they instantly become viable. Once I get uh, everyone here except for these three, I'm yeah. probably going to switch over. Well, I mean, GK might be a bit longer, <clears throat> but I'll probably switch over my Anakin, my Ahsoka, yeah. my Mace Windu, and then, I mean... Mace Windu, did, Mace Windu did really good for me for a long time until I got another, until I got Barris or C-3PO. Yeah, I'll probably put Lulu and Nara, and then I'll have, I'll probably put a healer in. Basila's lineup, and then I'll have Basila. Yeah, you'll have Jolie in there. Yeah, Jolie, Master Yoda. Yeah. Like, that's two really good teams. And then I'll have my Bounty Hunters, I'll have my Empire, I'll have CLS, and then I'll have Nicest in my... It's a lot of teams. Yep. So is it, then, you're, you're in really good shape, you're really focused, I like it, so I think you're doing alright. Yo. This is more of a, a gab stream for us to just talk game. 
You, you know, just said uh, you, you've you've got everything in the order you're doing it. I mean, you said something about Plo Koon. Somebody I was talking to Grande yesterday, and he said he's putting he's actually utilizing Plo Koon's character in uh, some pretty yeah, unique so lineups. Lineups with the ship is OP. Just look at that. It's an amazing ship. It's an amazing I, ship. I had it level one, and I used it. So when I unlocked the ship today, I was able to do the next. Who are you after for the first meta? Are you after? JKR, Darth Revan, where are you headed? I mean, isn't Padme meta? Yeah, in my in my eyes, because she's the most versatile team in the game. Yeah, I probably I'm really gonna get Padme. I'll still finish the Star Rude. I mean, there's other routes to go too. I didn't have JKR or DR. I still don't have DR. I opened it, but I don't use them. I haven't leveled them up. But uh, Grievous is another one that's meta. Oh, I have Grievous. It's just I a died. lot harder to build. It's really hard to build that team. I, I got him. I unlocked him, and I as soon as I unlocked yep. him, I realized I'm not going to use this. No, guy. don't level him up. Don't level him up until you... Honestly, I wouldn't... Until you at least get B1 open. Guys. Can't even farm them. Yeah. So I, I wouldn't even consider that at this point. Magna Guard's a lump without that either. He's got to be geared be right. Unless Trey is along. Yeah, it trades a very long way. I might start. Uh, I might have to uh, work cup up. Yeah. Here's the cup. Done. Yeah. So I mean, you're doing really well. Just focus on these teams for right now, and um, you know, people more and more people nowadays are trying to overpower everybody with uh, JKR. But once you get Padme open, now you got a JKR killer. You've already got two. You've got your Geos, and then you're gonna have Padme. So. Yeah. If you do what I did in particular, I literally, I was telling you guys earlier, I would place my bugs on defense when I needed to, not all the time, in order to stop an overpowering guy coming through. And then knowing if he was full offensive, I'd put him on defense, it would stop him, and I'd just wear him out. I didn't even need good teams because they put all bad teams on defense. If this guy looks at my history, he's not going to expect... He's going to expect the, the bugs and the... <clears throat> terrible team behind. Yep. But I don't think he'll expect bounty hunters. No, he won't. He won't see that one coming. Yeah. I still think he'll get through it, but he's not going to get through it efficiently. There's a possibility, anyway. Yeah, I do have that Zeta, but boss. I have the sure if uh, I put an Omega for the Ton Frenzy, like plus one variation, but I'm not sure if it actually got on him. And I hope it doesn't. I hope it didn't because he's not he's not tanky to have that extra. Yeah, job. and that's why I think they're going to get through. But they're still going to pull banners off of him. So that's all that matters. I like this team because, like, make sure someone gets the kill here and gets that extra bounty hunt resolve. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah, they're, and they're low GP, too. Like, all this guy has is high GP. Okay. Good. Anything else? Alright, uh, you got anything else? I'm going to cut this short. Uh, why do people Relic 7 one person? I don't get that. I don't like doing it because you put yourself in a really bad bracket too. Because you end up, the minute you Relic somebody, you start seeing Relics in, uh, in GA. So that's another reason to kind of hold off from that until you feel like you're ready squad wise. And you got to be smart about the ones you do. Now, he did Yoda, which is smart. I mean, in, at, at that level, it's going to be a pretty tough team. But Bastia teams, sure? even with a Relic 7 Yoda, is good. Are you sure Yoda was the smart decision? Amongst, nice well, Anakin's a smart decision, but Anakin's not going to stay on that team. Yeah, but Anakin will move over to Padme. And yeah, no, I understand that. But I'm saying for future teams like JKR, Yoda's the right decision. Should he have done Annie first? Probably because it helps both teams. The ship too, yeah. You know, and it helps the ship. So Annie would have been definitely been the smart decision. Um, he's just looking at right now instead of the future. You know what I mean? And he may not be thinking of the ship either. That ship is incredible. To me, it's one. It's top five in the game uh, from regular ships. <coughs> but, yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't have went. Yoda's the right decision for the JKR team, in my, in my opinion. Pack, man, I got two minutes. Yeah, what? Oh, I got two minutes to go oh. a little under. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, 
Maybe? No. Nah. I think I just lose. <laughs> I don't know if I beat any of these. I tried against the team earlier. I beat think I beat a team like it. But yeah, I, I lost, I think, the first time. Geo matches are tough. Yeah, I put the, the Omega on, but I don't know if I told you. Killed yeah, that's probably team. true. GJ, the Boba's contract, get it easier, yeah. Especially in that one. Yeah, also, is, is Boba's third upgrade of contract actually worth it? Whose? Defense penetration. It makes them a little bit tanky, but is it, like, is it worth it? Defense penetration equal to 200% of Boba's defense penetration? Yeah, I mean, you got to figure it's it's pretty much eliminating the majority of their defense when he hits. And remember, he double taps in his execute. So, I mean, he can hit for an absolute... It's almost like an annihilate, plus they can't come back. So this this makes him... Does this make him more tanky, or he does more damage? His defense penetration is equal to 200% of his, so he's hitting through their defense. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I, for some reason I thought it was... Yeah, you can put Yoda in Padme teams. I, for Arena, maybe, I just... I think he's more valuable with JKR in a regular scenario. Yeah, I agree with the, that. That's Especially cool. because he's so squishy. Although Padme keeps him alive, but. Nope. He's, he's a. Uh, <clears throat> he's yeah, I think that's it, brother. Right. You could uh, end? Um, I'm going to switch over to my account real quick. If you just want to jump off, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to run the Jawas versus the Geonosians here. Uh, yeah, I see it. All right, buddy. Appreciate it. Yep. Let me get loaded up there, boys and gals. Cool beans. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We just can't get under three-hour streams around here. I'm telling you what. Uh, SWGOH page. It is HWGOH.GG. Uh, is that what you're talking You know what it is. You're registered. You just got to go to, uh, if you go look at your account and look on the left hand side, you'll see GAC history. Go up to the URL bar and you'll see nine digits in that URL. Delete those nine and put the guy you're looking for in. You mean Q Cubs page? Uh, you mean you want his ally code? What are you asking for the URL for his? Hold on. 12 things at once. I guess I gotta go to my history. Hang on. I got too many a mow. Alright, there we go. That's taking forever to load. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Come on. Thanks, Cub. And of course, I logged into that account. Automatic. That's not going to do me any good. Strong bladder here. Strong bladder. I keep forgetting GAC just started. I got so much shit going on, I can't remember if I sit here going, oh, I hope I set my defense, but I know. But it's, it's what, defense set time now, right? Yeah, I'm going to be on Twitch from now on. Uh, YouTube's just an absolute nightmare to do. I'm going to post videos. Now that I've actually got it running good, I can put some more time into posting videos on YouTube because, I mean, you pretty much have to in order to bring people over to Twitch. And the community's starting to grow over here. Um... You know, I don't know 
how big this channel will actually get because it's a lot of it's based around the younger, you know, newer streamers or whatever. But uh, we could talk anything. I'll talk any shop. I love to learn. I don't, I don't know any everything by any means. I just try to help those that you know need information, and I love the community because we pass such good information. Like uh, you throwing out there with Yoda on the Padme team, and and you know, just it's it's good information because it works. You know. All right, let me get rid of that. We're logged in. Let's do the secret sauce. Find us a good Geon Ocean team. Oh, damn it. There was a great one. Damn it. Little trigger finger. Little trigger finger. So, yeah, if you should, I think you should I make a good alerts depending on how you're set up, man. Karan, I see how it is, buddy. I see how it is. Okay, so we'll test this. Um, we'll test this with just the Geonosha or just the Jawas. I always look at Alpha Speed. It usually generally tells you how fast the rest of the team is. He's pretty mediocre at 174. Uh, it's a little bit on the slow side from what I like, but the, uh, the Jawas may be able to take him out. At 91k, it's a little bit on the high side. And this is what I was talking about. They're all G8 and he's uh, 12. Crit avoidance arrows on all these guys except for the speed on Nebit. But we're going to experiment with a different one on him. We're going to put uh, health up. Alright, here we go. The secret sauce is coming next, so wait for it. I'm going to have to refresh to do it, but... All right, so we're faster because they were slow at 174. This is the fight that always concerned me. Um, all my Jawas are about to go first, and then these guys will probably go after the Geos. But I'll go ahead and throw that crit. You'll see the crit chances up. Now they're all going to go first, which that creates a disadvantage but an advantage at the same time. And one of the abilities on Nebit is this one right here. This gives 70% uh, chance to grant protection up. Or to taunt. In this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the taunt because I want him hitting him first. And then this one also is a gamble. Uh, all Jawas that assist gain stealth for three turns because two Jaw two random Jawas can assist. So in this case, I'm actually gonna go this route because I went first. I'm gonna see if I can't get Scavenger under. You know, actually, I don't want to do that because if I do that and Scavenger's the one left out, I could be in trouble. We're gonna chance it that we crit. Do not use this ability because you're going to waste it and you won't be able to explode the bombs. This one will increase, uh, will put him under stealth, I believe. No. Yeah, it is. I don't know why it didn't read that. So you see he's in stealth. He's safe right now. The bombs are stacking up. These abilities really don't do a whole lot. Uh, this one can do speed down. Uh, damage to all enemies, 75% chance to stun droids. So it really doesn't do a whole lot. But I'll use the AoE because I want to try to take some life down. See, we got in trouble there. That's where the slow jaw was run into trouble in a hard-hitting uh, offense. That's why I said 85k, I'm comfortable. Now, we can actually go against this team, which is 112, and we'll dominate them. So I take Jawa out and I throw Nest in. Now Nest is basically the meat bag. So as long as Scavenger doesn't get targeted first. I was looking at the Jawa relics and you get good survivability on some of them. One day I hope to get me some relic Jawas. Yeah. You uh if if I could find a combination to take out Grievous or a way to take them out, I would consider that. But I I don't really think you need to, because I mean there's really only one utility is to take out Geonosians at this point, but this this one right here works. Watch, it's 112k three relic. So as long as Scavenger doesn't get one shot here, we're in good shape. I haven't taken a team on since G12 in him. That's all relic yet. Uh, we're in good shape speed wise. 
this why this is where the trick comes in whether we want to do that or not uh we're in no rush with nest but i don't want that scavenger getting hit but i do need that scavenger to crit so i'm gonna go ahead and utilize it i don't need to taunt necessarily because nest can take some hits uh i can stealth them here so i'm gonna go ahead this is a nice spot because there's a random ally to assist so he should go into stealth here if it happened no it didn't work all right, we don't have enough bombs on because they're not hitting. They're one shot in the Jawas. This is a high high offense one. All right, we got enough bombs to kind of get some damage done. I forgot to look at their offense. Spy should die. I hope though. I hope he's got enough bombs. Yeah, he made a liar out of me. And I waited too long showing you guys. And that ability block stuck up there. It's the only time I run into trouble when they're a really high offensive one and they one shot the Jawas. There are certain Geonosian teams and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I need to find them again. Did anybody notice the name on that guy? Rituin. Rituin. So I need to look at his mods. High tenacity, decent damage. I think it's the high speed, high offense. Because you notice those Jawas got one shot. And when they only hit them once, you're only throwing two bombs up there, so you're not getting any. Tenacity's decent. Crit chance is super high. Once in a blue moon, I run into one of them teams and I can't, I haven't figured out what it is. Yeah, me too. I'm the same way. I've got one fun account like this one and I got one that I'm like pretty serious about. I'm trying to think. The Brute is the, and the Soldier are the ones that typically one-shot me. They've got to have multi-attacks. If they're just one-shotting, the other guys aren't assisting. 826. Their, their offense is pretty good, but it's not outrageous. There's something I'm missing. He's got an accuracy arrow. I wonder if that's got anything to do with it. Pretty fast. You guys got any thoughts on that? Yeah, once in a blue moon. There's one guy in my shard that... I can't beat with the Jawas. Hundred armor pen, but nothing extra. Damage. Uh, that's spy. Their damage isn't that high either. I don't get it. Their tenacity is not high. Potency is not high. It's just certain teams. And it's once in a blue moon. Oops. Once I figure that out, uh, we can mod them to avoid that issue as well. But again, when you go up that high, you got to figure they're what? 40k higher than me? Let's look at this one. 253, he's really fast. Decent offense, scales with the brute. Uh, I really don't care about Spy because he's not the one one shotting. It seems like it's Soldier. 207. 400. He doesn't have a whole lot of damage. Let's do that again. So, Ness takes the beating. I don't actually like when they go after her first because I need them bombs to get applied. And every time they hit her... See, we're getting some bombs up there now, but there's massively... 
massively hitting my guys, but I got enough bombs on there now. So these guys didn't hit quite as hard. That first Jawa they took down, this is a sure win now. I've got seven, minimum 16 bombs on there. It's just a waiting game. Ness will just sit there because Spy can't do it quick enough. So I can either blow him up all right now, or I can let Ness sit there and take a beating until the bombs go off. He's still going to die. He's got 15. This guy had an, uh, must not have had a whole lot of bombs on him. But he won't last long. Yeah, that's a good thought. Yeah, maybe we can find that other Geo team and see who's one-shotting them. Because it's the only time it happens when they one-shot, one character one-shot the Geos. It's the only time that this doesn't work. If it wasn't for that, it'd be 100%. And of course, I'm not going to find him again because he was in the first spot. It's amazing how thick the teams are getting around 800 and 1,000 now. I kind of stay down there to theory craft through teams and stuff, but it's getting harder and harder. I'm going to have to keep dropping farther. Where are the Geos? I might have went too high up. Good Lord, man. You guys know Ness can take out Padme teams too? Solo. Well, Kira Solo. I like to put Hermit Yoda in there. I won a couple GAs that way. One of them I had to go raw solo. I had no choice. Uh, that team probably ain't going to be shit. He's right at the speed that I like him. Uh, it'll just be the four rounds. Then they'll go back to but the old style. Or I'm assuming the next one won't have ships, although I like them with ships. I hope it, it always stays with ships. I think it's a great part of the game. I think it makes the challenge better. What we got? All right, Soldier and Sp Poggle just... Basically one-shotted. So that's why we got so few of bombs up there. The whole team went there, so we'll get a few more. Scavenger will survive this one round. That gave us just enough. Then I like to do this ability because it's uh, AoE. Just to put a little extra in there. Because then bombs are going to go off. But here's the issue... I can't blow them up right now, right? So now we got to wait it out. So yeah, 12 JCs. It'll be three, uh, four rounds of three. Now he's in stealth, so we will get a chance to blow him up, but they probably will blow up before then. One, two. Some of his, not all of his went off. There we go, there we go. Still got bombs up there. See, the thing is, is when they go one turn, they stack some bombs. Then they go another turn, more bombs get stacked. So that's the worst scenario. Like right now, Alpha's alive. And that's actually a really bad thing. Because um, all of his bombs went off individually. That's why this ability right here is so important. I'll blow the rest of them up. Now I'm basically stuck dealing with uh, Alpha and Brute. So this could end up being a timeout. Although this is a lower geared brute, I should be able to take him out. If you get up against a relic nest and a relic brute uh, alpha, it's a timeout. You just sit there and beat the hell out of each other. All right, GJ. See you, buddy. We're getting off here in a second anyway. I got to take a leak. I just wasted 100 crystals against two Geonosian teams I didn't expect. Ugh. So, yeah, I'm trying. That's the one thing I'm trying to figure out with the Jawas. What is it about them one shot? And I don't think I made any gear changes. I hope I didn't make any gear changes. 
That would be stupid. Where are they at? Oh, shit. <laughs> I took them off the two Jawas for GA because I needed to stay under 3.8. So I kept my three Jawas geared. My bad. That's what's happening. That's why he's getting one shot. There's one team in my shard, though, that keeps one shotting two of my Jawas on a regular basis. That's why I'm not getting through that, guys. They're, anybody could one shot them with no gear on. My bad. My bad. Well, we just beat, what, 100K with two Jawas with no gear. So that's, that's on me. I saved the three that I need for GA. That's it. Uh, my GP on this one is sitting at the bare minimum to stay under 3.7 or 3.8. That's what I'm seeing right there. I totally forgot about that. So, anyway, bad example, but you guys see the point. I'm about. That was really throwing me off because I there's only one Gian Ocean team, and it's the same guy over and over and over. And I don't necessarily lose to him. I either time out or I just barely beat him. Um, but other than that, every Geo team I've faced, I've beaten with this combo. Unless they're like outrageously. But I did beat 126k with the right RNG. Which they're almost double what my team is. So pretty cool. Alright guys, we're going to call it quits. Uh, I appreciate you guys. i got to get some work done. Thank you for hanging out through a little bit of a struggle. I'm glad to see it's uh, the stream is a lot smoother over here. Hopefully we can grow the community and get everything going well so i appreciate it. we got a uh what do we get we got an addition to the battalion today which is great with jg uh jg moon the secondary moon although it doesn't mean you're second buddy just secondary all right appreciate you guys you, you guys have a great day we'll see you i'm doing another one of these thursday i haven't set a time with him yet uh we were supposed to do it monday but i got sick so we're going to do one Thursday. I'm not sure. I'll put a, an early alert out on YouTube letting you guys know that uh, that we're having this. And, of course, you'll see it on here when it pops up. So appreciate it, guys. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Have a good day.